Jimmer Bell Z and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm sure some of you are wondering, okay, what's happening? So I was watching something and they were in Paris and they were speaking a little bit of French and I remembered that I know I think in total five phrases in French. Actually, French is one of those languages that I wanted to learn. There was a point in my life I thought I would actually take lessons in French. I don't know what happened to that, but anyways. <laughs> Merci beaucoup for joining me today. And uh, please click the subscribe button if you're new here. And like, comment. Guys, really, I'm doing this. It's a bonus video. So I'm trying, I'm trying my best to be as engaging as I possibly can. I plead with you to please, please, especially for this video, engage me, you know, um, let's talk about it, right? I did say that this channel is about talking. So let's get into it. So the title of this video is statements or sayings that people assume or misquote from the Bible, but they actually are not from the Bible. <laughs> um, so I'm keeping in line with this month's theme, which is awareness. So I'm just raising awareness uh, around what people think. Uh, is in the Bible, but it's not. So disclaimer, I have not read the entire Bible. So if you do find these in the Bible, share them with me. I'd, I'd be open to see where you can find them in the Bible. I'm going to be going through three such statements. And um, I don't know if you've noticed, I normally do things in threes. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a coincidence or if it's something deliberate on my part, I don't know. But anyways, I just noticed it when I was uh, writing down what I was going to do for this video. It's like, why do I do things in threes? But I literally could only remember these three. So if you have more that, you know, more statements that you'd like to debunk that are not scriptural, then feel free. So let's start with the first one. And it's a very popular one. This one is something that I hear so many times. A lot of people, if they're making any kind of speech, I mean, it can be at a wedding, can be at a party, it can be um, at a funeral, people always saying this. And this one is the one that people say is from the Bible. I've seen people's statuses, I've seen it everywhere. And it really is one of those things that it, drives my dad up the wall my dad does not like the statement <laughs> he constantly talks about it so guys please stop saying this just for the sake of my dad can you just you know <laughs> and the statement is that mudimu utusa baba itusa and loosely translated it means that god helps those who help themselves guys that that's it, it's not in the Bible. Give me a scripture that says that. And like I said, it's the one thing that people think is in the Bible. Uh, people confidently say that this is in the Bible, but it is not in the Bible. I'm so sorry to have to tell you, it's not in the Bible. Think about it. <laughs> so I think this is coming from a place of, for example, the scripture that says faith without works is dead. And I'm just going to quote that where that is from. That's from James 2 verse 26. And so I think people just took that and just made it something else over the years i don't know maybe it comes from something else if you know where it comes from maybe you can enlighten me because i don't know where people get that from and yes faith without work so you can't be praying um you know god gave me a car but you're not working towards saving money for a car you don't have a driver's license you know things like that so yes you can't have faith and no works right but you cannot help God. Like God created the heavens and the earth and everything in it. Everything works in such a synchronized way and 
in such a mind-blowing way he does not need you to help him right so god yes he he requires that we have faith and he requires that you know we work towards that faith but there is no such thing as god helps those who help themselves because if you look at especially that statement that says those who help themselves i think that's quite misleading you know god helps everyone if if you need help god will help you. if you ask god for help god will help you as long as you're his child um he will help you you know you don't need to you know manipulate him you don't need to assist him you don't need to you know you don't need to do tricks and things so you don't need to say okay god i did this so therefore i deserve that you know um the bible also teaches us that um god does things according to his will so that statement also is incorrect in that sense that if it's not in his will he won't do it right so i think it's a very misleading statement i think people like it it's a popular statement it sounds good um i think um it it its purpose probably is to push people into action however the problem that i have with it like i said is that end part helping yourself you know you need you need god right and, and it's god who um gives you the strength and the skills and the talents whatever um in order to be able to do something right so i think there's actually this statement is not a bad statement um except for that last part it as mentioned however i do think that people need to stop saying that it's in the bible because it is not in the bible unless you can prove me wrong so so this statement is actually it's not a bad statement except for the part that it does not exist in the bible it is no way in the bible it's not a bad statement i think whoever came up with it was just trying to encourage people you know maybe to do something i think um it, it the intention was not to mislead people but i do feel that it is misleading and to counter the statement uh, from a biblical perspective i'm going to read from second second corinthians 12 9 and it says my strength is made perfect in your weakness so you know those areas where you feel that you are weak in them god says that his strength is made perfect in those areas so as i said the statement is misleading because it's it tells you that if if you have an area that you're struggling with you must do something about it and then god will then come to your rescue and help you God doesn't work that way. If you are struggling in a certain area, you go to God and say, "Lord, I need help with this." And he will he is saying that that's where he is strong. Where you are weak, that's where God is strong. So, um guys, please stop misquoting the Bible with this particular statement. Statement number 2 that I recently heard, I think this statement <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is one of those statements that you find like um, on the taxi door. Okay, in South Africa, <laughs> please Google South African taxis and how they look like. It's it's basically like a minibus, and normally on the door they would have like a I don't know like a sticker saying something, you know, and it usually is just like these corny lines and one of the lines i think is what i'm going to read now and i heard somebody quoted the other day and say that it was from the bible and i was like no this is not from the bible so the statement is love them all but trust no one <laughs> guys I, I promise i think this is from like those taxi doors um <laughs> So, I mean, it sounds cool, love them all, but trust no one. But once again, this statement is not a biblical scripture. I don't know where people found this from. I tried to Google it. I tried to Google the origins. I couldn't find where the origins are from, but it, it's just, it's a quote. I don't know by who, but yeah, also misleading. It is not from the Bible. So, um... 
as you might be aware, the Bible talks about love, and um, there's a there's a there's a part where uh, Jesus talks about the greatest command being to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And He says the second greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So He talks about love. The Bible talks a lot about love. But there is no place where I found this particular statement or where it talks about trusting um, and not trusting people. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying trust everybody. <laughs> but love people. And I mean, obviously use caution when it comes to trust. And that's the thing. Actually, the statement doesn't even say in what context um, this trust is in, you know. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to bump into a stranger on the street and automatically trust them. I might give them the benefit of the doubt to maybe listen to what they have to say, but it doesn't mean I have to trust them. But like I'm saying, the Bible only speaks about loving people, working together with other people, you know, doing what you can, you know, for other people to make their lives easier, you know, be kind to one another. But it, 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 it does not say anything about trust no one. So I think people just added that. <laughs> but yeah, once again, this is a statement that is not in the Bible. Statement number three, the last statement, and this one is a bit more controversial. I actually want us to discuss this one. <laughs> And it is Mudimo Khafika Litsohovela. And loosely translated, I'm trying to think how to put it. It means that God doesn't just give by the hand. But there's context to it. I feel like when I translate it in English, it doesn't make sense. But basically, in, in the cases that I've seen personally, people will maybe come across, let's say, money, like, you pick up some money and people will say the statement to say, you know, meaning that, you know, God gave me this money, but, you know, he didn't give it to me directly, right? Now, I say it's controversial because it's, it's, okay, it's not scriptural. It's not scriptural. I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't find it anywhere in the scripture. And if you did, then <laughs> let me know if, if there's any part in the scripture where you find that says that God doesn't give you direct gift. I guess not direct gifts. I feel like I'm actually translating it incorrectly. Somebody please translate it better than I did. But my point was that in most cases it's when people benefit from something and in some cases they can do something about it so for example i've seen people say you know like somebody deposited money in my account and i don't know who it is and i went back to the bank and people will say but why would you do that you know why would you give um, the money away and and you know even just finding something and maybe taking it to lost and found and people say, Mudima Africa, let's all fellas, so meaning that God gave it to you. I think the context, that particular context, I think is incorrect and um, is very misleading because you only say that when it benefits you. But if you lost something, right, it's not so nice when you go to the lost and found and no one, you know, uh, brought back whatever it is that you might have misplaced, you know using probably that same line saying that you know god gave it to them i do believe that god finds ways to give to us i mean because obviously he can't give things to us directly in terms of he can't come you know and give me what i need you know however he could use situations he could use ideas he could he could inspire me with ideas to you know to execute and make something out of out of nothing and you know god can do anything he he can do the impossible however when it comes to when you benefit and you you get something and it's not yours right so it's one thing if it's something that somebody gave to you and i'll speak about that in a bit but if it's something that you find and it's not yours 
you need to return that thing because it, it you can't justify it and say it's god right unless you can't return that thing you know that, then that's a different case altogether but if you can trace uh, who it belongs to the owner of that thing because you would appreciate it if um you know you were at the receiving end if somebody uh, picked up something of yours and returned it you would appreciate it so try and extend that same grace when you find something if possible return it right and i just wanted to speak about something i, I had a conversation with actually um, a stranger about the other day and we had quite a lengthy conversation around this and we were talking about you know what what's happening around the world and just what a difficult time and season it's been and she was sharing with me how you know when the lockdown first started and um she's in the beauty industry and she she didn't have an income and she didn't know how to, she was going to pay for you know her rent and all of these things and she says somebody out of the blue a, a friend of hers called and said listen can i have your bank details and that person uh gifted her with some money and you know she said she needed about three thousand rands and this person gifted her with uh five thousand rands so even more than what she actually needed and we were talking about how it, it happens it happened to me you know and you know i was i was i was saying to her that it's so wonderful when it happens because you when you are in a better position you do it for other people because i don't know you understand how good it felt for you know somebody to come through for you in that way and yes that's something that i could describe as god coming through for you because you're praying for something and you know out of the blue somebody comes and gifts you with that very thing that you're praying about so i think that's a different context i think that yes god can bless you through other people but to be like i'm saying pick up an expensive watch or you know find something in the bathroom um that you know belongs to somebody and say that that is god i think that is completely wrong and i will be reading um a scripture that counters that particular statement and it's from the book of philippians 4 19 and it says and my god will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in jesus christ so as mentioned god can um you know meet your needs um through people through situations however god will not give you what belongs to somebody else already so um don't misquote the bible this is no way in the bible you know god can't give you somebody else's thing especially because in some cases you would have seen who it belongs to you see somebody dropping something that's not god guys come on that's not god so yeah um <laughs> that's all for me today for this bonus video as i mentioned please do engage me and let's discuss this comment like subscribe please please if you can share this video as well thank you so much for joining me au revoir